Um, what do you What are your thoughts on uh, Big Dre um, being speculated as the shooter and not Orlando Anderson? Yeah, I'm I'm extremely confident that it was Orlando. You know, when you you've got to remember when Keefe D's out there pub, talking publicly, it's going to be somewhat nuanced. Um, he had issues with his family when he threw Orlando under the bus. Um, that came back to haunt him. Um, and, you know, because Dre was dead at the same time when he made his original confession, so it would have been just as easy to throw Dre under the bus, but he didn't. He threw his nephew under the bus. And you've got to keep in mind the atmosphere in which he made those statements. He's in a situation where if he lies, he's going to prison for the rest of his life. He doesn't know what we know and what we don't know. So when he's sitting there and repeatedly telling the cops, I gave the gun to Orlando, I believe that. I believe that's the case. And again, you've got to also understand the gang culture. It's Orlando Anderson's job to pull the trigger. He's the one that got stomped by Tupac and Suge and the rest of that with the rest of that, uh, that group. If, if he doesn't pull the trigger, he's getting punked. It's his job. If you understand how gangs operate and the infrastructure and the expectations of one another, it's Orlando's job to get it to, to take care of that, um, that retaliation. And I've heard it said like, oh, there's no way, Dre was too big. Man, go sit in the back seat of a Cadillac Take one of your 300 pound friends and then you sit in the passenger seat, grab a gun and see you can't, if you can't easily get your, your arm out the window. I guarantee you, you can. It's not that hard. There's plenty of room back there and if you're trying to get over somebody, it's not difficult to get your shoulders up and over and your arm out the window and start shooting. So, you know, just go put it to the test. Go get a fat guy. Put him in the car, sit next to him, and see if you can't kind of climb over and get your arm out the window. And uh, and again, primarily, it's Orlando Anderson's job. And so when Keefe D says he's handing the gun to the back seat, and Dre's like, nah, man, you know, don't look at me. And Orlando Anderson saying, give me that motherfucker. He takes it, and he takes care of his business. So that's exactly the way that ought be within the expectations of the gang culture. Orlando Anderson got jumped. It's his job to get even. Okay. Um, after, well, actually, well, I guess I, I was going to say before, but I don't think you guys knew until you spoke to Keefe D. But after Keefe D had his proffer session and told you all the details of what happened that night, did anybody ever come to you and and corroborate what Keefe D said obviously not from a witness perspective but from like somebody that was uh friends with them or in their gang or say yeah I heard so and so brag that they did it or I heard this person do it or I I even heard Keefe D talk about it was there ever any of that or no well some of that stuff already existed within the um investigative files before I was ever even assigned to it you know some of those interviews um, from informants from Southside Crips. That information was already in the investigative files long before Keefe D's um, confession. So yeah, we had some of that information. Uh, we knew some of the people that um, were providing information. Uh, quite a few people were bragging about it. Dre was bragging about it. Orlando was bragging about it. Terrence was dragging, bragging about it. Keefe D even, rem I think he says in our interviews, he's like, I had to go tell those dudes to shut the fuck up. Because when we got home from Las Vegas, they're running around, you know, letting everybody in the world know that what we just did. Which, of course, is also why the gang, you know, everybody knew it. It was the worst kept secret. The mob Pyru knew it. Obviously, Suge knew it. Which is the reason that all the um, gang fighting started in the neighborhood the following day. So, we had a lot of that information. A lot of it's circumstantial, but a lot of it was also, you know, witness information from people that were hearing the type of statements that were made, being made back in the hood. So, um, oh, and of course, when Keefe D is explaining all this to us, he's corroborating what we know is, you know, the girls, 
in the car in the Sebring, the convertible, that got caught in the crossfire, and the additional shooting that took place between Orlando and, and Alton with, uh, with Buntry's car. So all of these things when Keefe's telling us, it's fitting within the known facts, which is another reason why we knew it to be true. My insurance company nicknamed my truck the Terminator because of everything it's been